First off, thank you for clicking on this video. I appreciate it and you. This painting is called Inner Diatribe, if you care to know. Like this video and consider subscribing. I was going to talk, well, ramble about short stories, but then I changed my mind. I'm going to save that for later. As I was working on this painting, before I settled on this concept sketch to follow through with turning it into the painting that you see on the screen, I drafted two other potential concepts on this canvas paper. And I had to erase so much. I sketched so faint because I hate erasing and I'm, I don't know, I can be very fickle. My reluctance to turn this into a painting along with another concept I'll likely do after this one. They both stem from the fact that they don't have faces, or at least not, like, clear faces. As a neurodivergent person, specifically an autistic person, I don't mind that this doesn't have a face, or when things don't necessarily have faces. But for anyone else, it's completely senseless without a face. There's no focal point for an onlooker to connect with, which from what I understand is vital to humans, <laughs> at least the neurotypical humans. Facial recognition and or like reading of facial expressions, I think that that is tied to like survival instinct in the way that people are wi wired or something. They correlate, I'm certain that I read that somewhere, Nevertheless, I was drawn to the feeling of it, so I chose to do it anyway. It deviates again from my previous painting, and I'm striving to expand my portfolio, I guess you'd call it. Not that I have an artistic slogan or anything, but I feel and think, obviously, as I say it, there's no place in art or in any creative field for fear. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still I'm still working on trying to live by that like thought and I think it not just because like it's risky and there's a chance of embarrassment or rejection you know I think I'm past that it's happened I, I'm living still but for like authenticity's sake you you have to be confident or else I don't think you'd ever attempt to do anything and I thought that when I was watching, what is it, one of the Halloween baking shows on Food Network. Because I'm like, you can't, you can't do that. Just don't do that. And it, it really dawned on me that I was like, I should really live by my own opinions. <laughs> also, I'm just a hypocrite, aren't I? I think, I think that's what that is. I was listening to music while I was painting this as well. Because I was listening to music. I hate podcasts. It's funny because I hate listening to people talk. But I, I've been talking. I talk. Um... <laughs> I have a playlist of mine. I'm a playlist connoisseur now. I used to never make play playlists because I thought it was too much pressure. But now I'm like, once I get a feeling, I really have to, like, I really have to stick to it. And I can come up with, like, perfect mood playlists. It's amazing. But anyway, I really got into a mood. So this does have a soundtrack. I'd summarize it with five songs, if I can count them properly. Song one would be Muddy Water, or Muddy, yeah, I think it's Muddy Water by LP. Um, it's just, I think it really, I don't know, it's very, it's very heavy feeling, and I think that really equates well to this painting, and how I felt when I came up with the concept sketch, and then as I was working on it, and it's just like, yeah, epitomizes it perfectly. Second would be Strength, Courage, and Wisdom by Indy Ari. I think that's kind of self-explanatory if you know the song, and just the title, I think, very clear. Third is Don't Mind by Super Heavy, which is a group I started listening to because Josh Stone was a part of it, but then I realized... Like with this song, especially, I think it's Damien Marley. I think it's Damien Marley. I hope I'm not wrong. Oh my god, that'd be terrible. Um, he really goes off on that song in the best way. I had to include it because it's so lovely. Sweet dreams are made of me, and who are you to disagree? And I'm like, oh, that's like, I don't. Is that sampling, or would that just be like? Because it is like sort of like a rap, but it's also I don't know. It's like spoken word. It's like a beautiful quality interweaving things together, and I love to do that myself. So it's just like, oh yes, yes, flowing unity world <laughs> okay i'm done for good to me by irma thomas 
it's I don't I love listening to old music. Yesterday or in my previous video, depending on <laughs> if you watch these in order, I was talking about James Carr. I love like I'm trying to I can't put the era into words because I'm not exact, exactly sure, but it's like I said, James Carr, he was in that same era with Otis Redding. Irma Thomas, the song is like perfectly bluesy, but anyway, the verses specifically I want to share <laughs> that I love is like I've been loving you for 20 years and I'll love you 20 more because I've got the will to try. Again, if you watched my last video, you know, which you should also watch that video if you like torture, then you'll know I think of art as a lover. Or better yet, I think my relationship with art is like a turbulent romance, but I think of art very much as a person. As someone would think of like probably their boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever, however you want to like their partner. I think it, I don't know if it's because I'm autistic. Again, it's a thing. I'm not. I'm never sure of anything. But I'm also. I think I'm aromantic a little bit. I think I'm a little bit aromantic. I'm more aromantic than I am romantic. <laughs> and I think I'm more asexual than I am allosexual, which is just like you know a regular person experiences sexual attraction. A little, uh, little fun fact for you there if you don't know. So yeah, I just feel like that. Ugh, everything. He's just like perfectly epitomized what it is is in my mind. But, um, back to it. <laughs> Fifth, lastly, Voodoo Love by Red Rosamond, I believe that's how you say her last name. It reminded me of the sort of ideology again, because she sings, and I, I've sung it because I love it so much. I wanted to cover it myself, but then I didn't do it. I'll include it at the end if you care to listen to that, if you watch this even to this point, because I'm just going on. But she sings, you made it feel so easy, gets that I got carried away, you said that you would teach me how true love was made. It goes on again, like, you know how to please me, your eyes cuts right to the tape. But it's just like, you know, that part was the part that's like, yes, that is, that, ooh, harmonizes perfectly with my own feeling. And I love that. Beautiful. Um, it's also just like, I love songs that I really, I don't know, that inspire deep feeling. I don't know, very emotive things, which you think all music is emotive, but at the same time, like, these ones in particular, they're very much in that soul blues vein. But anyway, okay, I'm all over the place, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. While working on these canvas paper pad paintings, I've noticed I quit utilizing blue and yellow as heavily. I work in a form of washes, not like how other people, like, use washes, because I use very tiny, like, fine liner paint brushes if you can't tell. Although I work erratically, randomly, you could say. I've let those primaries meld more with the other colors in a way I hadn't before. It's odd to me how I use yellow because it's my least favorite color. Like, Black Bean CMS hates most shades of green. He's explained it that way, I believe. I hate all shades of yellow. All of them. It's a very anxiety-inducing color for me. It's very loud. I hate the sun, and the color doesn't really complement my skin tone. Um, I think it's because I'm a cool winter. You can't tell from my videos, but I'm sort of pale for someone on the brown-ish, black-ish spectrum. But I don't really know even. It goes back. I don't know what I look like. I'm just a blob in my mind. Um, but I do think. I, I love evening lighting. I love it. I'm like a reverse ogre. And if you also notice, I've been writing as I paint. I alternate sometimes. Lately, I've been putting my blurbs of thoughts, like the ones that I'm talking about right now, <laughs> on my canvas as I paint, so I can ramble more about my current mindset, and in doing that, the things I talk about, I hope, aren't as rambly, but I make no guarantees. I am, unfortunately, a wild card, and my videos, I hope, are an experience. I hope my channel is like my Yayoi Kusama sort of installation, because I don't know that in reality I'm ever going to be exhibited anywhere or have that sort of opportunity. Um, if you take anything away from this, it is art. Truly art. The harvest of my inner torment on display right next to the falafel cart. I like that. And he was not motivated by the base aspects of humanity. He wanted to create his art, and that's all he did. He just wanted to make art that no one could see. That was his, his favorite thing to do. All they practicing day in, day out, but for so a crowd of drunks can make your art the backdrop to their pathetic mating dance. They don't care about your dream. They just want.
want something loud going on so they don't have to talk. I'm gonna start over, because <laughs> I forgot that quickly. I'm well, anyway. You made it feel so easy. Guess that I got carried away. You said that you would teach me how true love is made. And you know how to please me. Your eyes cut right to the chase. Oh, baby, how you doing? How you bring me down? Oh, baby, baby, you hit me with your voodoo love. Not a toss and turn, cause you keep me up, baby. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Before-